Okay, so here are two easy ways to make flowers in Adobe Illustrator. I'm going to show you the first way, which is essentially taking a square. So I'll create a square on my canvas here, and then I will go to Effect and click on Distort and Transform and Plucker and Bloat. And then we'll increase the bloating here, and then you can just increase it as much as you want depending on how you want your flower to look, and click on OK. And then we can go ahead and click on Object, Expand Appearance, and then we can add a little center part for our flower in the middle. I'll change the color. And then just align this, and we have one way to make a flower. Another way we can do it is, again, using shapes. We can actually use the Polygon tool here. We'll create a polygon. We'll make it white and click on Effect again, and then Distort and Transform and Plucker and Bloat. And then we can increase the bloating again to your liking, depending on how you want it to look. And we can click on OK. So this is another way you can create a flower. The cool thing about the polygon tool is that you can actually increase or decrease the amount of petals you have here. So by dragging this little diamond up and down, we can increase and decrease. So once you like the way it looks, you can go ahead and click on Object and Expand Appearance. And now we have our shape. And then again, going in with a circle for the center, bring that up to the top and we've created another type of flower here. So now the other way you can actually make flowers is using the radio tool. So instead of using pucker and bloat with the shape, we can actually create a petal. So I'll just grab a simple shape to make a petal. Let's say I want my petal to look like this. I can change the way it looks going in here and changing maybe the edge of this petal to look a little bit more flatter. So I can go ahead and select my petal. I'll go to object click on repeat and click on radial. And now it's created this radial pattern with that shape. And by dragging up and down this little circle here, it'll increase or decrease the instances of that shape that you've created. And then we can also pull it inwards or outwards, depending on how you want it to look. I can bring it inwards. And the cool thing about this as well is if you, you can actually go in and double click on the actual shape and edit it that way too. So let's say I want it to be a corner. I can change the way it looks and still, you know, update the instances of the petal and how far or close I want them to be. And the other thing you could do is you can actually maybe remove some if you want. Maybe you want it to be half or full. So if I duplicate this and remove some of the petals, you can see we can make something like this. We'll click on object and expand. And then we've created this cute little tulip looking flower. And then we have this one as well. We can go ahead and expand that one as well and then add a circle to the inside of it. And then just align them. And then we have our three different types of flowers. We can bring this one over here as well. So now these are just a couple of ways to make flowers in Adobe Illustrator and it's really that simple.